Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to discuss the types of the switches. Strictly speaking, the switches are broadly classified depending on three parameters. Okay. So let us discuss one by one. So first, classification of switches or the types of the switches depending on depending on controlling of the switch depending on controlling of switch depending on controlling of switch right so there are three types of the switches right regarding the controlling of the switch right so first one uncontrolled switch uncontrolled switch second one semi controlled switch and third one fully controlled switch okay so these are the classification depending on controlling of the switch okay so let us discuss first uncontrolled switch the switch is said to be uncontrolled if it's either on state or off state right sorry is if it's on state and off state cannot be controlled the switch is said to be uncontrolled if it's on state as well as off state cannot be controlled by using the controlling signal or external signal okay so one example of the uncontrolled switch it is a diode right if you check the diode operation the diode will be in the on state when the forward voltage appears across it right otherwise it will be in the reverse bias mode and it will be in the off state okay so the diode will be in the on state due to the supply voltage it is not due to the external signal are you getting the point right so please don't get confused between external signal and the supply voltage okay next the semi controlled switch the switch is said to be semi controlled if it's either on state or off state can be controlled by using the controlling signal okay either on state or off state can be controlled by using the controlling signal okay one example is scr silicon controlled rectifier right silicon controlled rectifier okay if you know the scr definitely we are going to discuss in detail okay so in the scr we can turn on the scr by using the gate signal but we cannot turn it off by using the gate signal is this clear okay so scr is a semi controlled switch next fully controlled switch the switch is said to be fully controlled if its on state as well as off state can be controlled by using the controlling signal okay means its on state as well as off state can be controlled by using the controlling signal then the switch is said to be the fully controlled switch okay example yes we are having the number of fully controlled switches mosfet igbt bzt etc okay so this classification is based on the controlling of the switch okay next second depending on depending on direction of current direction of current through switch depending on direction of current through switch during through switch during on state during on state so here we need to understand or we need to concentrate the on state of the switch and the direction of the current flowing through the switch okay so we are having the two types one is a unidirectional switch unidirectional switch and second one is a bidirectional switch one is a unidirectional second one is a bidirectional switch okay so so here we need to concentrate on on state of the switch as well as the direction of current flowing through the switch okay the switch is said to be unidirectional right the switch is said to be unidirectional if it allows the current in only one direction through it during its on state okay means the switch which is allowing the current in only one direction 
during its on state is known as the unidirectional switch right what is the example scr is a example of unidirectional switch okay next the bidirectional switch the switch is said to be bidirectional if it allows the current in both the directions that is a forward as well as reverse positive as well as negative during its on state okay example of the bidirectional switch yes we are having the diac we are having the triac etc okay these are the examples of the bidirectional switch right next related with the unidirectional and bidirectional we are having or we need to discuss the static operating points on vi plane also okay so they have asked the questions in the gate examination this is a very very important point okay so let us discuss static operating points static operating points on vi plane static operating points on vi plane okay so let us discuss one by one okay where will the static operating point on vi plane for unidirectional switch first one is for unidirectional switch unidirectional switch yes for unidirectional switch where will the static operating points as we know the during the unidirectional switch and bidirectional switch yes the switch is in the on state only okay so when the switch is in the on state what is the voltage across the switch voltage across the switch is zero okay so voltage across the switch should be zero so operating point will either lie on the positive i axis or negative i axis are you getting the point okay so here the static operating point is either here or here are you getting the point right these two indicates the static operating points for a unidirectional switch is this clear okay so the switch is said to be unidirectional right so if you check the corresponding to this point corresponding to this operating point what is the voltage voltage is zero what is the current current is positive means the meaning is this switch is allowing the current in only positive direction or forward direction okay next corresponding to this point what is the voltage voltage is zero but what is the current current is negative the meaning is the switch is allowing the current in negative direction or in the reverse direction okay next let us discuss the static operating points for bidirectional switch for bidirectional switch for bidirectional switch okay now as we know for the bidirectional switch yes the switch allows current in both the directions right switch allows current in both the directions so where will be the static operating point yes as the switch is in the on state so voltage should be zero so point will be either here or here right sorry point will be here as well as here is this clear to all okay so corresponding to this point the voltage is zero right and current is positive corresponding to this point the voltage is zero current is negative means the switch is allowing the positive current as well as negative current forward current as well as reverse current is this clear so this is about the static operating point on vi plane okay in the gate examination they have asked the questions based on it right next the third classification or the third type is depending on polarity of voltage blocked by the switch during its off state okay we are going to discuss third classification depending on depending on polarity of voltage blocked by switch polarity of voltage blocked by switch during off state very important during off state so here we need to concentrate on off state as well as the polarity of voltage across the switch right polarity of the voltage across the switch okay so we are having the two types one is unipolar switch and second one is a bipolar switch unipolar and bipolar switch 
okay so let us discuss one by one unipolar switch the switch is said to be unipolar if it blocks either forward voltage or reverse voltage if it blocks either forward voltage or reverse voltage during its off state during its off state okay so it is blocking either forward or reverse voltage okay so one example of unipolar switch right example of unipolar switch diode diode as we know you might have heard the diode when it is in the forward bias mode whether the diode blocks the voltage no right when diode is in the forward bias mode the diode starts conduction so diode is conducting means what diode is acting as a short circuit so what is the voltage across the diode voltage across the diode will be zero okay means diode is not blocking the voltage when it is in the forward bias mode but when it is in the reverse bias mode the definitely the diode blocks the voltage right so diode is blocking only negative voltage that's why it is a unipolar switch right next one is a bipolar switch the switch is said to be bipolar if it blocks forward as well as reverse voltage okay if it blocks forward voltage as well as reverse voltage during its off state during its off state one example of bipolar switch scr scr is an example of bipolar switch okay now we are going to discuss in detail what is the scr right and what are the characteristics okay at that time you will understand why it is a bipolar switch okay so before that let us discuss static operating points static operating points static operating points on vi plane on vi plane right for unipolar and bipolar switch for unipolar and bipolar switch okay so let us first discuss for unipolar switch first one is for unipolar switch okay so for unipolar switch as we know the switch unipolar switch blocks either forward or reverse voltage during its during its off state okay so switch is in the off state so what is the current voltage current right so when the switch is in the off state what is the current flowing through the switch current flowing through the switch is zero right so switch is in the off state means definitely the current will be zero current zero means operating point will be either plus v or minus v okay so here for unipolar switch operating point will be either here or here are you getting the point okay so corresponding to this point what is the voltage voltage is positive current is zero the meaning is the switch is in the current zero means switch is in the off state and the voltage across the switch is non zero means switch is blocking the voltage okay switch is blocking the forward voltage here the switch is blocking the reverse voltage okay so for unipolar switch yes the static operating points either here or here okay next second one for bipolar switch let us discuss for bipolar switch by polar switch bipolar switch right so for bipolar switch as we know the bipolar switch blocks forward voltage as well as reverse voltage okay bipolar switch is blocking the forward voltage as well as reverse voltage during its off state okay so off state means what current is zero right and voltage blocked by the switch is forward and reverse so here and here the operating point will be yes forward positive v axis as well as negative v axis is this clear to all right are you getting the point so this is about the classification of the switches or the types of the switches okay and the static operating points right static operating points okay so in the next class we will discuss about the numericals based on the types of the switches and static operating points okay thank you